Hey everyone, really quick, I'm gonna teach you how to diagnose a P0671 <clears throat> or P0672, 673, 674, basically glow plug on a TDI. So right down here, these are our glow plugs in here. Cylinder identification for cylinder one on any vehicle is always the closest to the crank pulley. So over here is our cylinder one. Uh, let's pop these, this cover off and just take a quick measurement. Okay, I have my ohm meter hooked up. I am hooked on to the top of a glow plug and I'm gonna put the other side on the socket of the glow plug, the body. 7.3, we'll just, we'll check all of them to see where they all sit at. Point one, one point one. Now the cylinder two, cylinder three, point nine, and cylinder four. There you go. So cylinder one has a huge variance. Um, there's the other way to check this is with an amp meter and, and chest current draw that's actually being pulled through these. Um, a three amp, I believe, variance will trigger the light. This is just so easy. Like there's obviously a problem if there's that much resistance in this glow plug. Um, and then the other way to test this, if you don't have, you know, you don't have a test, uh, an ohmmeter, or you want to confirm what you found with this is just to swap it. So we can swap it from number one and we'll put it in number three, clear the code and fire it back up and we'll see if the code jumps to cylinder three. We'll do that now anyways. Also, I'll show you guys here. So I had one side right here, and then I was just testing it right here on the body. Okay. If this was open, if I tested this too and it was open, that'd be an obvious fail. I've seen a lot of those. Okay, I cleared the codes. Here's our new one. Cylinder three glow plug. So our code jumped from cylinder one to cylinder three. Obviously that is the glow plug because that's the part we swapped. Uh, the harness in this vehicle is in pretty poor condition, but it's still functioning. So I could, I could kind of mend it and repair it, or I could try to find a new one. I'll see if there's one in stock and I'll talk to my customer about how much money they want to spend on this old baby. Um, he'll probably say to replace it if I can get it. But yeah, I'm gonna replace all four glow plugs because this vehicle has about 300,000 kilometers. When one goes, the rest are gonna be coming due pretty soon. And I don't want this customer coming back, you know, another one time, two times, just for the same code on a different cylinder. So we'll replace all of these and go from there. Here's the spec on a new glow plug, guys. 